together this sample menu for my friends at the back of the boat. So let's find out exactly what a lemon shark will actually consume. First on the menu, pork roast. All right, all right, here we go. You got it, you got it! Wait, he spit it out. These sharks are near frenzy now. Here he comes. He's got it now. He's pulling hard. He's got it, and there he goes. It didn't take him long to tear into that. All right, next up, a massive chunk of ham. Okay, let's see how they play with this. Their sense of smell has to bring them in on this much meat. Here comes one, straight in, no hesitation. One huge lemon shark chowing down on a chunk of ham. Here he comes back again. Man, he hit it hard. Come on. Whoa. He's got it. There he goes. When a shark that big grabs bait like that, it's like trying to hold back a wild horse. Got the whole ham. Went down as a ham, came up like that. Let's go right to the turkey. There we go. This is a lot of meat. This is one dangerous group of sharks, regardless of their gentle-sounding name. He's definitely interested. Here he comes. He's got it now. There's got to be at least a dozen of them down there. Come on. Now they've got a taste for it. I've got three massive lemon sharks right here. He's ripped it right out of my hand. And here they come to finish it off. This is one group of sharks I wouldn't want to be caught in the middle of. 20 pounds of turkey goes in, and that's all that came out. I set out to discover what the odds of being attacked might be for a swimmer who comes across a school of feeding lemon sharks. What I learned was odds aren't even relevant. Swimmers should steer clear of waters where fishermen are chumming or bait fish are schooling. These sharks seem to be willing to sample anything that feels right, whether it's on their menu or not. <laughs> 